Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back to another episode. We've got the Meyer exclusive Purple Parallels from 2022 Tops Update Series. These are blister packs. We've got a full rack of 28 we're going to be busting. 28 of these bad boys. Got to love this product. We're looking for that Julio base, Whip base, and Suzuki base. We've not pulled any of those. In the first, the first three racks that we've opened, we got one more after this too. Probably do tomorrow night. Thanks for stepping the box. Let's do this. Batting gloves are on. We're swinging away. See if we hit some line drives. See if we hit a nuke. We had Bishop, Dean, Jack, Eminem's, Tom. Um, had this one before. Aces up. All right, top loaded this one and Garrett Richards. So I'll top load this one, sleeve it at least. There we have it. Decent one to start. I've noticed from watching a few other people open these, the um, distribution is kind of the same. Trading cards and mores here, college cards. I will say the packs have been had some numbered stuff in them too. Theory of doing this on some of these guys. Pineda and Alcala. Julio, where are you? We're, we need the Julio and the Wit base. These, these kind of weird. I know John at ERB Sports has opened up quite a few of these. You can check out his pulls. Connor Joe. So no rookies out of the gate here. These packs have been... Total duddage. No show. What's happening? Stew in the house. My bears are sponsored by Hefty Trash Bags. No surprise. I had the over-under on four wins. I am right on the money because the Lions might be the only game that's... We've had this pack before. That's not too bad. We've had this one before. Bryson Stott. It's not terrible. What's up, Brandon? Camp 26 said it's coming. What's up, Tony? Neon the one. What's happening on this Sunday night? Card show, Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Jesus Sanchez and Joe Perez, rookie. I'm sleeping all rookies. I will say, getting these straight without being on the, uh, being on the shelves... And thrown around all over the place, and people bend in these. The pro the quality of the purples is better than I've ever seen. What's up, Eddie? Hope you had a great Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope I think me and John are hopefully gonna do uh, batter up this week. We took a week off with Thanksgiving. There's ERB. There's a few of them. So I'm starting to see a few cards that I didn't recognize. So I'm hoping that means there's a Wit, Suzuki, or Julio. These are not open up very good for me today, but that's why I bring the knife. John at ERB, we gonna do all oh, this one. I don't think we've had one last stand. That's a nice card. And MJ Melendez, this is a nice card. I don't know if I pulled this one. I don't remember. That's a good one. That's probably a $10 card. MJ Melendez. Again, the quality on these is looking way better than usual. Mom and dad in the house. Bishop said, hopefully a homer's coming. Slide this down a little bit. So these come fully loaded with 28 blister packs. So that gives us a good amount of... Purples. Come on, baby. Here's a rookie combo. And Logan Webb. Yeah, John says the quality is much better. John, we're going to do a uh, batter up this week. Got some good product, good uh, topics again. The buyback. PSA, 
products coming out. Uh, have not had this one. That's a cool one. Suzuki and Shugo. Uh, they have not had that. And there's Yadiel Hernandez. I like this card right here. This is a good one. The Japan market is good on that one. Probably paid for the pack, $5 card or so. How many purples are produced? Um, I'm guessing the print run is under 200 for purples, and it might be less than that. Just by looking at the uh, amount of purples graded on some players. Does your dad collect? Nancy says no. Michael Fulmer. Rivalry you love. That one's pretty decent, too. I like this one. Divisional foes. Catching up with the chat here. Chris says, good luck. No Myers near. I'm sorry you don't have any Myers. Ballpark. We're working on getting some more guests. Yes. Anonymous lives. What's up? One guest I was trying to get, I emailed, was Jab's family. He hasn't responded yet. Hopefully he does. Alec Thomas, we've had that one before. I just sorted him before. Alec Thomas, debut rookie. I think that's like the fourth one. Come on, where's the Bobby Witt? Where's the Julio? Where's the big dogs? Yeah, we really enjoyed having Stryker on. Eagles 35, Packers 10. I can see that neighbor, Bob. And there's a couple non-rookies. <clears throat> I got some massive sorting to do. Corey Seager. Luke Williams, Luke. Haven't seen Luke come in the house yet. But no big rookies, really. We, Theory of Dunas on Wit and the base Julio, man. These things are hard to pull. John at ERB Sports, he had a few racks. I don't know if he's pulled the base of either of those guys yet. I have not. This is my fourth rack, and we're halfway through it. Jaden said he's trying to add some cool pools. Oh, man, I just uh, I almost cut that one. That would be a tragic... That would be tragic. I uh, I beat that one up pretty good. It was way higher than the other ones. That was an amateur hour move. And that one was stuck. I know John was running into this too with some of his packs. It was kind of stuck in that packing. So that was got some glue on it. That one's... Sponsored by Hefty Trash Bags, but I'll sleeve it anyway. I don't think, I think Eddie got some of these too, and he didn't pull any Wit or Julio base. I could be wrong on that. Eddie could hit the chat. Orlando Arcea and Fayetto. I got, I've got a couple of him now. What's up, Bowman Brent? Yeah, I, there's definitely Julio and Wit because I've seen them on eBay. Seen them on eBay. JP Sears, that one has some corner damage. Jake Fraley, that's the negative about this product. I wish they would put these in the packs for two reasons. One, people could kind of like pack search the purples and see some of the numbers. And two, for the quality, I'd love if they were in the packs. Tony Mac, what's happening, man? We've got a good crew in here again tonight. 
I'll do another rack of these tomorrow night, Monday night, right before Monday night football. A couple more that are dinged. Nick Lodolo. So starting to see a few of these dinged, which is kind of a bummer. They I spoke too soon. Or Eddie's open 40, no who base Julio or wit. Adam said watching with my dad. Hit a bomb. Hey, I thought that was Suzuki at first. Michael Givens and Jake McGee. Hope your dad's doing good. Chris said they should be in packs. Ballpark LSU Maniac would be cool to interview. That's a good idea on up uh, north collectors, too. He's got that hobby shop rolling. No rookies there. We're getting lots of packs with no rookies. I throw out all the non-rookie base that that will hurt with Golden uh, Judge and Goldschmidt. Hey, that's the fourth debut. Julio, we keep pulling this card. Kaboom. We keep pulling the Julio. We're going to have like the um, stronghold on the Julio debut. This is the fourth one that I pulled. Jeez. Fourth one of these. That's not bad. Now we can just get the base. Base Julio, base wet. Come on. What's up, Peds? Do they have the Julio base in purple? Yes, they do, ballpark. I've seen them on eBay. How do you feel about buying the second hand? Um, I don't really like buying these second hand with people searching the purples. Your chance of get, getting the purples, although they've been selling kind of cheap. I've seen $6 a pack on eBay. That's not too bad a price, really. How can you tell if a card's a vintage stock? One, you can feel it. And two, it's got a different Topps logo. And three, it's numbered out of 99. Last base Julio sold for 185. Who are you chasing the Bowman Chrome? Nick, I don't even know. I have not opened any. We've had this pack. I forgot who's butt behind him. It is the Wander debut. That's the third one of Wander. This is insane. Keep getting the same guys. We got a stronghold on Wander debuts as well. Wander Mania, purple debut. Kaboom. Brian says, hope you drove around. I drove around quite a bit and didn't hit it in many stores, but these are hard to find, man. JM got a Julio refractor out of $4.99. What's up, God is great. Thanks for stepping in the box. We got a Swinsky. Or no, that's not a Swinsky. Wrong pirate. Castillo. We only have a few more chances to get that Wit and Julio. Yeah, I'm pretty fortunate to have all the retail vendors pretty close. No HEBs around here. No, uh, no BJs around here. At least BJs you can order online. The cards, Rondone and Shane Boz got another, got a bunch of these too, so... These collation in, in these racks are about the same. But just because you don't pull the purples doesn't mean you don't have a chance. There's some good stuff in these packs. Got three more chances. Come on, Wit. Come on, Julio. Come on, Suzuki. Still no base purple Suzuki for the PC. I want to add the purple to the PC. I don't want to have to buy it off of eBay. I love this Rockies with the color match. If you're a Rockies fan, that is a cool card. Montero. Being in a city is tough for hunting cards. Yeah, that's for sure. It depends. I'm in the suburbs, so... Brian J., did you, did you grab any Tops Mini? I did grab two boxes. What's up, Jeff? Thanks for stepping in the box, baby. 
Just another. So hey, finally, I believe that's the base. We finally got on a different run. Let's go, Seiya Suzuki, going in the Cubs PC. Got a little white on the corner down there, but we finally got it. Kaboom for the Cubs PC. I'm going to put that in the top loader. Let's go. That took a while, man. The tail end of the fourth pack. Holy cow. That took a long time. We got, we got one more in here. Let's get that out of the way. Can we get a Cubs PC video? I did one. Uh, there, if you search my channel, I did one. Eh, it's been a little while. But there's a couple no rookies there. So there you have it. We're going to get these packs. But the Purple Paradise rolling out of these. We got some good ones. Got some good ones. Obviously, here's the ones I was kind of the veterans that I'm not excited about. You got these veterans over here. I kind of like these here. Those veterans. Here's all the rookie stuff. I sleeved every rookie as they came out. And then some of the better rookie purples. Suzuki for the Cubs PC. Wander debut. Julio debut. So if you're looking at the financial part of it, these three cards pay for the opening. FYI. All right, let's see what this what goes on with these. Uh, Joel, I am pumped about the PSA, 15 bucks. I think they're going to... I was actually thinking it might come down to like 13, 14 bucks. See what we could pull out of these. They are definitely haven't like dropped off in the subs they're getting, but they're kind of maintaining. We have a numbered card of something. It's a ice ice baby. And it's the wrong cubby. Son of a biscuit. Drew Smiley for my cubbies. Ooh, I would have gone nuts if that was Suzuki. But a first numbered card, Ice Ice Baby Green out of $4.99. We got a retail blue, Randall Grichik. We got Trevor Story. And the Stars of the MLB, baby. Nothing like the Stars of the MLB. Are you sick of those yet? Does Meyer restock these or one and done? Brian? They usually restock them maybe once, maybe twice, depend on how they're distributing them. But they come and go real quick. Come and go real quick. So we got a nice little hit in the first pack. So I like these little cheap packs, $3 packs. Austin Nola, nothing in there. And then you'll have a pack like that that has a Stars of the MLB. Are you going to do any Boma Chrome, Jeff? I am going to open some Boma Chrome. Not a ton. I've noticed in the Boma Chrome, not a lot of rookie stuff is coming out of them in terms of autographs. I watch an HTA like, I forgot how many cases it was. And wow. I would thought there would be more rookie autographs coming out. Mackenzie Gore. Tony Romero. We'll save the old rainbow foil rookie. You never know on that. Rainbow foils are tough. I like to keep I like to keep cards packed fresh the way they come out. It's always the way I've done it. I oversleeve stuff and I like it that way. I just ordered a couple cases of top loaders from Cardboard Gold. But if you so kindly could, hit that thumbs up. 87 people watching on this Sunday night. What do we got here? Mackenzie Gore debut. Juan Soto. Oh, Tani, that's a cool one. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this, uh, if this Otani is a few bucks. If they are 100% through their backlog and they are grading 1 million cards a month with two buildings, they better be getting... Yeah, I agree, Bishop. Definitely, they got a flow coming in. They got to keep that flow coming. Yeah, Eddie, I did too. Ordered a case. There's a C.J. Abrams. There's a Pena base. 
kind of putting those off to the side. I should do a like a recap on my uh I did a I did a video on you open a ton of sports cards now what? On series two. Should do that again. Case of top loaders from cardboard gold, 69 bucks. Joel said he has some pre so he has some pre-1996 cards from the national, not graded yet. This year's national, I would say that's not that bad. But if it was last year's national, I would say that's brutal. Duran, I like this Ted Williams. Kirk. And there's a CJ Abrams. Uh, we got one of these uh, chromes. These chromes usually mean good stuff. Julio debut. Wander debut. Going to be close to putting together the chrome set. The stars of the MLB chrome. Julio, base. Perez. And there is a Marsh. And here is a gold Eric Fetty, second numbered card. So those chromes, they come out with golds quite a bit. Not everyone. National still back, backlog. Bishop like SGC, same bishop. I mean, Chris, the best thing about PSA is just the value of the prices. Uh, I mean, you go head to head with the value and selling. They're the easiest to move. If I had vintage, I'd go with SGC for sure. Torkelson, a lot of these companies are going to go under. PSA is still grading a million cards a month. Bobby Witt Jr. debut. I thought maybe that was going to be a nice card. Chrome here, Alc Thomas. So we got a couple nice chromes. Whoops. E2. Suzuki, Stars MLB on the back. I like, I do like PSA. I've had some good luck grading cards with them. We got a Jeremy Payne. I'll sleeve that one. And a Vladdy, who's your daddy? And there's that Suzuki. I'm going to sleeve that Pena insert. A couple bucks on that. Figure if PSA is grading a million cards a month at $15 per on the low end. That's a pretty good. I mean, they used to only charge eight bucks a card. Imagine that. Imagine if you could grade $8 cards again right now. I thought PSA might lower their prices again a little bit. Frazier. And there's a McKenzie Gore. So sometimes those chromes have them, sometimes they don't. I said, is HGA going to make it through the year? I had uh, JT, what's up? I thought HGA would be close in 2022. I didn't think they would last through the year. Come on, baby. How about a short print out of these? There's another Vladdy. So nothing major out of these packs yet. Trading cards of more. $6.25 spent special when he started. That's amazing. Yeah, it just comes down to how many cards they're getting. At least they, I think you got to give PSA a lot of credit for uh, adjusting their business model when they got slammed. Career Soto, home, home, home runs. We're due, theory of doing this here. We got a blue, Dustin May, retail blue, Roger Clemens, and there's Kyle Tucker. 
What's up, the B brothers? Yeah, Chris, keeping stuff sealed is is good too. There's nothing wrong with that. There's all kind of collectors. Keep stuff sealed, open stuff, buy singles, player collect, team collect, slab collect. It's crazy. Investing. There's so much different people in the hobby. Logan Webb. And then Quan and Riley. Steven Quan. Coming down the stretch run. Yeah, Chris, if I had vintage, I would grade them all with SGC. Looks like we have, I don't know what we have here. I don't know if it's the black gold or if we have an auto. I can't tell. I can't remember if we hit an auto out of these or not. I think we might have a blue. These are typically blue, but it could be an auto. Arias. And it is numbered. It's a rookie. This is a nice card. Bryson Stott. Believe that was out of 299. That's cool. We pulled a CJ Abrams out of 299. That's a nice card. I'm going to sleeve that. That's a nice rookie rookie insert. Yeah, vintage collectors love uh, SGC. Justin, trading cards and more. That was a cool Bryce Stott. And then we had that rainbow foil of Pina. JT says he's got the out of 299 CJ Abrams. I'm almost pretty certain I pulled that as well. The one thing I won't do with PSA is I make sure that I sub it as cheap as possible and make them upcharge. There's no reason to voluntarily hand them over more money. All-star game, Joe Musgrove. And there's a Torkelson. I need to move some of these base cards out of the way. Little football today. Jeff opened some hobby of Chrome and didn't realize how tough it was to pull the Judge Goldschmidt. Yeah, man. Seems like it should be easy. McCutcheon on the back. Got one of those inserts. I sold a couple Judge Logo Fractors. I sold a, a gold Judge Logo Fractor out of 50 for like 150. So I'd have been better off using that for trade-in. But you win some, you lose some. You know the old adage, any profits, good profit. Sometimes you got to look at it that way. Bruhan. We're due for a decent pull out of one of these packs. Oops. So far, we haven't had any low number stuff. But we had that nice stop, a gold, a green. Here's a rookie, Ramos. Bruhan. Little Bruhan batting helmet out of a blaster. Torkelson debut. Little camo out of 25. Those are tough, tough pulls. It's the one negative thing. There's a Bobby Witt base. We have a Pena. We just pulled this one a minute ago. There's a Miggy Hall of Famer. Reed Detmers. I did not get down to get his autograph on Saturday. Didn't want to do any driving. So we back-to-back -back jack this one. 
The black golds do come out of this. I'm surprised we haven't hit one of these. The price for these for three bucks a pack is well worth it just in the purples. The purples basically pay for the packs. The packs are free. Julio. It's got to be resourceful moving cards. Um, we have a short print. I ruined it. Tom Seaver. Short print. 59 code. That's the base short print. Tom Seaver. Look at all that red on there. That's a cool card. So we pull a short print. Out of a $3 pack. Got to love that. So nice little opening is starting to pick up. Insert piles getting bigger. We still have some packs to go. We've had a short print. We've got a numbered rookie card. We've got two numbered cards. We got a bunch of good purples. And we still have a handful of packs to go. Home field advantage card would be nice. Super top pull. Low numbered card. The Machine, Albert Pujols. I'm going to sleeve that one, too. Bobby Witt, put that over here. I'm going to sleeve that. Probably a couple dollar card as well. JT said he's only 14, so I buy every once in a while. Just don't spend too much and then sell a couple cards, JT. Spend 20, sell some cards, get your 20 back. Maybe grade one card, sell a card, trade up, keep building the base, turn one dollar into two, two into five, and keep it rolling. CJ Abrams base, Jeremy Pena base, or not an all star game. Michael, you're just getting in the house. We are, uh, we got this little stack of packs right here. We're coming down to the end, buddy. We're on the back. We're on the back 25%, but we appreciate you being here. If you so kindly could, hit that thumbs up. 32 thumbs up. Almost 100 people watching. Thanks for your support of this amateur hour as usual. We'll do more of these tomorrow night before Monday Night Football. Blister Packs. Julio debut. That means there's the Wander debut. And we got a Craig Biggio. There's lots of Astros in this product. Lots of Astros. Man, when the Cubs won the World Series, I loved the next year. Like, literally every pack had Cubs in them. That was so fun. I missed when the Cubs were good. It makes collecting when your players are in the product. When your team is trash bags, it's hurtful. Chris pulled a Julio 35th. We got a Scherzer. Jordan Alvarez. CJ Abrams. Do you put sets together and sell them? Yes, John, and I need to get to work on that, man, big time. Told my mom and dad I was going to leave some cards with them to sort, have them be my sorting machine. If you're out there, mom and dad, I'll pay you minimum wage. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We have a uh, numbered card. And it is a gold Brad Hand. Brad Hand. O'Neill Cruz. Four packs to go. I've done a better job of keeping stuff sealed. Bobby Witt, debut. Tracker says what's up. He's in the other room. <clears throat> Sorry about coughing. 
I've had this cough the last couple of days. The old after Thanksgiving cough. Dustin May. Chrome, that's a nice one. Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome. It looks centered really well. This could be a card you possibly grade. And we got a Ramos debut, Rainbow Foil behind it. A nice couple packs. Bobby Witt Chrome. Yeah, maybe it's not centered that great on the back. On the front, it looked pretty good. I love those Chrome cards. Ramos, Rainbow Foil. JT loves those cards. I do too. Those Chrome Stars of the MLB are cool. The paper ones, not so much. Trucker came in to get a drink. He's worn out. Again, thanks for all the support on the channel lately. The number of subscribers has kept going up. Torkelson debut. Ron opened 11 hangers. His hangers weren't bangers. Sometimes they're bangers. Sometimes they're sponsored by Hefty Trash Bags. Yadiel Hernandez. And we have... This is a bummer. Aaron Bummer. A Father's Day Blue. Unreal. Talk about a bummer. That is a bummer, guys. Unbelievable. What a bummer. When you get a low number, I'm going to tell you why. Hold on a sec. Let me see something. Hold on. Uh, I don't have it close. I thought I had it. Oh, yeah, I got it. There it is. We pulled this not too long ago. We're on the bummer train. A camo bummer. We're on the rainbow bummer train. <laughs> I knew it was close. So we did pull. These packs have some pretty good hits in them. You might not hit the player, but they have the hits. Bummer. I can't remember if that bummer came out of a hanger or if it was a blister pack. That I can't remember. One pack after this one. Ooh, I saw the Jesse Winker down there. It was like, when you see a Mariner down towards the bottom, where, where uh, the inserts are, you get excited. And here we go, guys. You know what time it is? Last pack mojo. We'll rerun this tomorrow night. My last run of blister packs. 28 more. We'll see if we can pull. This pack has some a blue in it or something. But that Father's Day blew out of 50 is a tough pull. Again, sometimes you're not going to hit the players, but it's last pack mojo. This one looks like it has a black gold and a retail blue. And it's a rookie color match, Royce Lewis. And we got a Bryce Harper. So that's not a bad last pack. Get a rookie parallel. Throw down on a Bryce Harper. It's not a bad last pack. Let's go through here. Let's do a little recap here. Again, you get the huge, huge lot of inserts. Lots of stars in MLB. We had, let's just go through the rookie pile quick. Mojo alert, Big West says. Royce Lewis. We got the rainbow foil. That was the blue, retail blue. Uh, Ramos debut, rainbow foil. The chrome, Bobby Witt. A couple Peñas, back-to-back jacks. Romero, rainbow foil. Here was some of the veteran stuff that I was putting in a pile. Harper Black Gold. 
Brad Hand Gold, Eric Fetty Gold, the Machine Pujols insert for my Cubbies PC, the Ice Ice Baby Green Smiley. Oh, Tani All-Star Game. So some minor stuff there. Kind of put this with the rookie stuff. We had a couple hits here. Tom Seaver, SP, short print. What's up, Vino Chris? You're just catching the tail end. Tom Seaver, short print. And Aaron Bother, uh, Bummer, Father's Day Blue out of 50. And then the rookie stuff that's really the good stuff. Bryson Stott, insert. Out of two ninety nine, and then the Meyer Purples, the Suzuki base going to my PC, Wander Franco debut and the Julio debut. So again, there was twenty eight more blister packs, another good run of stuff, and we're looking tomorrow night is our last chance to pull that Julio and Wit base. I'm hoping they show up, man. But uh, appreciate all that support. JT, Big West, Ron, Ballpark, Doogie, Chris. Hope you guys have a great evening. Until next time, peace.